Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up WordPress multi-site. So the first thing you need to do in order to do that is set your port, your Apache port to port 80 or your web server port to port 80. I'm going to be using Apache in this case. Set this to 80. If you don't, uh, WordPress multi-site will not work. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and set up a website using the MAMP Pro Extras. Um, it's uh, uh, I set it up and uh, it's everything is working. So the next step is setting up uh, the WordPress multi-site. Okay, so with a WordPress site already set up, we're ready to um, add multi-site. So what you need to do is go to your uh, document root folder. In my case, websites WP site and open up your WP config file. So I've already done that. Uh, this is my website's WP site, wpconfig.php file. Down here below, define WP uh, underscore debug. Just add the following. This is WP allow multi site. So once you do that, save this file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And now, if I go to my, uh, since I installed this with extras, I have a link right here to my admin page. And I'm going to log in and on the uh, when you go to your tools you will now have a network setup option so you just have to click on that and uh, for this screencast we are going to be doing subdirectories uh, so all I have to do here is uh, click on subdirectories and install Okay, so the first thing I need to do uh, to finish um, configuring this is add the following lines to my uh, WP uh, config file. So I guess it wasn't a good idea to close it, but um, I have that open again. And uh, you just add these, those, these lines below. So I guess this is a bunch of stuff that enables multi-site. And I'm gonna close that again. And this here, the second thing I need to do is um, add the following to uh, my HT access. I guess it's is replacing other WordPress, WordPress rules. So I'm, I'm basically just wipe out the current HT access um, file and add my stuff in. This is also located in the document root directory of your site. This file is also hidden, so you have to, in Finder, enable uh, hidden files. I'm just going to go ahead and open that, wipe that out, and it looks like I am good to go here. Make sure to save that and go back here. So the next step would be to um, go back to my, open up my um, admin page, and Wait for that, and up here, I have a et network admin page, which is gonna let me look at my sites, and currently I have just my main site. Okay, so the last thing uh, left to do is just add a new site. I'm gonna call it WP site slash my second site. Not my second site. And just add in this. These details um, and that's about it so just add in these details and add my site so it looks like I'm good to go if I click on sites I have my second site here I can click on it and this is the actual uh, URL for my new site so I can just go ahead and uh, go to my browser and um, type that in. Oh, I'm already in my browser, of course. Type this in and we're good to go, my second site. So two sites set up uh, uh, using WordPress multi-site. There is a, a second way to set up multi-site with WordPress uh, using subdomains. Uh, I'm gonna go over that now. 
Um, I set up a second uh, WP site uh, two WordPress site. I uh, went to my WP config and uh, set it up so I can do multi-site already. So all I have to do is go here to uh, tools and tools and network setup again for the second site. I'm going to use subdomains this time. So I'm going to go ahead and install that with subdomains and uh, I'm going to have to add this to my WP config and once that's done I can set up uh, multi-site with subdomains. Okay, so I've set up a multi-site with subdomains. I added the lines to my HD access file and additional lines to my WP config. So now on my WP site two, I can go to uh, my sites, go to my network administration here, go to sites, and I can add a new site. So in this case, I'm just gonna call this, uh, say something like documentation documentation it's documentation wp site dot two uh, my docs is my title capitalize that and uh, set an email here so now I've uh, added this site and uh, hopefully it should be added if I go back to my sites I should see it and Okay, perfect. So documentation two dot um, WP site two. So what I can do with uh, subdomains in MAMP Pro, I can just add that as a new. Uh, I can just add that name as a host. Documentation dot WP site two. Um, I can go to my WP site two as well. And I'll be warned that um, I'm using the same document room for two uh, hosts, but that's okay. I'm going to save it and restart my servers. And I should be good to go. So here's my docs, and uh, that's an easy way to access um, your websites using multi site and subdomains. And that's going to do it for this MAMP. Pro for screencast on using WordPress multi-site.